Testing, one, two, three. Testing. I want to make sure we have this uh, microphone activated. All right. Um, this is a video. This is Mystic Rob. Um, I'm a tarot reader, and I wanted to make a video response to Father Catfish. I just watched your video. And first of all, I'm, I'm very disappointed, you know, that you would lump so many different uh, mystical arts together in, in, at once, okay? Let's see, you put Ouija boards, fortune tellers, horoscopes, tarot cards, Wicca, the occult. And you, you lump them all together as if they were all, you know, the same category of things. Um, that's, you know, first of all, the word occult means um, hidden or secret. It doesn't always mean evil. Uh, although it's associated with that in a lot of traditional thinking, um, you know, the uh, using, you know, using um, something like the I Ching, to me, that falls under the category of occult, even though it's not a demonic or, or satanic thing. Uh, so you, you just kind of group these things all together. Uh, and then kind of slammed them. Um, and I, I, I agree to you with a, a, to a certain point that your intent in how you use these things. Uh, but to, to, cartoon, to, to cartoonize these things and say, well, if you just use them for enjoyment or, or as a joke, or you know, then then that's okay. You know, I, I think that kind of belittles these things. Um, let me explain tarot to you, okay? Um, can it be used for fortune telling? Yes, yeah, some people apply it for that. Uh, are most tarot readers fakes? Yes, most of them are. But the way tarot is supposed to work, for those of us who, who take it seriously, uh, these images on these cards, uh, they're archetypes. Young, uh, Carl Gustav Jung, uh, talks about this, and that in the, uh, in the unconscious mind, we have these archetypes and there's a collective unconscious and by entertaining these archetypes we can reveal things about our psyche that's how tarot works and that's how it works best so you use these cards and well here's one um, the hanged man it's about uh, meditation and it's about sacrifice uh, the devil for example that's about being bound about having something um, like an addiction or something of that nature. Uh, the fool is about faith. You mentioned faith. You're a man of God, so that's something. So these these elements, as you ask a question and these cards get laid out in an order, they tell a story, and the story is a story of archetypes. And as these archetypes that exist in our minds are considered, you get a new perspective on the question at hand. So there is, you know, there are tool. Oh, here's another one, a uh, wheel of fortune. That's also a Christian uh, symbol. And here's judgment. There's a lot of Christianity in tarot. There's a lot of other, as a matter of fact, a lot of different belief um, beliefs surface in the tarot. It's really, uh, you know, uh, sort of a world faith thing. So as these get off, it, as you as you lay the cards down, the tarot reader interprets the story. You might ask questions of the querent. The querent is the person who the read is being done for. And ideally, there should be a discussion. And that discussion, you know, shines light on the situation. The best type of question for tarot is, what is this situation about? What will I learn from this? Um, what is, you know, how, why is this happening? The kinds of questions that aren't, Tell me my future. Um, so it, it, it saddens me that uh, someone in your profession would have such a glib understanding of what you're criticizing. And I just wanted to point out that, um, oh, and can psychic things happen with tarot cards? Oh, yeah, it's possible. But, you know, psychic things happen without tarot cards. Uh, there's science studying psychic um, you know, I've got a video called um, Psychic Scientist you might want to look at. It's not necessarily all this spooky, you know, the, the, the spooky, uh, you know, satanic, evil um, thing that you make it out to be. So, uh, I just wanted to, to express that. 
I wanted to show that there is more to it than, you know, your glib response. And uh, hopefully you'll, you will allow this to be posted as a video response to uh, yours. And, and one final thing. I see in your video there's like a lot of toys stacked back there and uh, on a shelf. And, and I, I'm hoping that you're one of these priests who got married and then became a priest. Then it all makes sense. But I, you talked about Harry Potter and I'm kind of concerned about any full-grown man who wears a collar and goes to children's movies. But uh, we'll... We'll let you answer that, maybe. You can explain why the toys in the background and, and what's up with that. I'm suspecting it's not as nefarious as my suspicious mind is making it out to be. Father Catfish, um, I, you know, I, 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 honestly, if you're going to slam all these things, you know, do a little research first. Uh, find out that tarot cards is not always about fortune telling. Uh, Wicca, well, don't get me started on Wicca. Uh, the occult is not, you know, has, uh, it, it's just obvious to me you haven't done your homework or you would have had um, a more uh, interesting, a more intelligent uh, response to these things than God doesn't like them, leave them alone. Or, or, or that they're power, that, 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 they, that they're, they're a power grab. So, that's pretty much all I had to say, man. Peace.